The impacts of climate change do not respect national boundaries. In our interconnected worlds, we can see just how quickly um, the impact from one thing can trickle down and cascade through the whole globe. And one example that we saw was COVID. Um, it just highlighted how connected our systems were. And this is the same with climate change. Uh, many countries import staple foods from other countries. And if one country has a loss of harvest, uh, they might put an export ban in place and this causes food prices to rise. Also, the adaptation and mitigation actions taken by one country can have impacts on other countries and could potentially lead to maladaptation. There has been a call for addressing these risks going back um, since about the Cancun Declaration in 2010. Um, the least developed countries asked for the least developed country expert group um, to put mention of these and the technical support for the development of NAPS, including also the recognition that adaptation had local, subnational, national, regional, and international dimensions. Since the initial call by the African Group of Negotiators and the Least Developed Countries Group, others have started to recognize that transboundary climate and adaptation risks could have impacts on their abilities to adapt and to mitigate climate change. This type of risk is something that's sorely neglected um, by many countries. With the focus on local to national adaptation, people are neglecting uh, supply chains, um, particularly related to food and implications for food security, and also just concerns about, uh, which no one is talking about, implications of debt, particularly for the least developed countries. As they are developing and building infrastructure, a lot of that infrastructure is built through loans, um, through foreign direct investment. But if that infrastructure is not climate resilient, is not being built with the consideration of climate change, those countries can still be on the hook for repaying the loan, even if that infrastructure has been damaged or destroyed. And so not only do they incur debt, but they also have to contend with the cascading economic and social impacts of damaged or destroyed infrastructure. So our next steps, uh, we are working with the African Group of Negotiators, Expert Support, Agnes, and the LDC Group, uh, and other negotiating parties on developing sets of indicators around transboundary climate and adaptation risks to submit to the UAE to Belém work program, which will conclude at COP30 in Belém, Brazil.